So one thing I've noticed with juniper, even if it's on the ground here, uh, we've had rain and snow and stuff, enough breeze on the top of this ridge and stuff. All this, you know, I brought my mower with me today, but this is all still pretty good fire. Wood that when it starts to die, it literally just splits itself uh, apart. And all this stuff on top, even though we've had some rain and whatnot, even the snow that was on top of this melted, uh, you can see some of this punky stuff is a little damp on top. But as soon as you get underneath, uh, it snaps right off. So, a very great resource out here in the, the high desert. I'm enjoying it. Alright, so I went and gathered up, just pulled some of those splits, and we'll see how those burn. Um, off of a couple different logs, so I didn't sort of scavenge just one log. Um, it's about 36 out today, so this isn't going to freeze, but uh, we're testing durability of this. Now, I can't put this on a fire uh, because it is a vacuum and it has an outer and an inner piece that's separated by air. And that thermal barrier, um, or dead air space, if you're talking nothing fancy, uh, is what keeps the inside from freezing for the Arctic canteen. But uh, you can tell when it's sloshing around that it works pretty good. I'm just taking a rock, kind of clearing away some of the moss here. Uh, you know, I don't really have, all I'm doing is heating up uh, some water for a cup of coffee while I'm out here, giving me a chance to warm up my hands and to try a new tinder system. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you've seen Ray Mir stuff, uh, the episode I saw of him ever since he was in Australia and he was starting a fire with the uh, the glycol in his antifreeze and the permanganate, I've been trying to find the permanganate and talked to all sorts of uh, pool supply, I talked to uh, uh, pharmacies, I've looked online, a lot of people don't even know what it is, and it's a little bit of older sort of tech, uh, a lot of guys in the wars back in the day used to carry some as a, uh, as a first aid, sort of a old school iodine, because you could dilute it in water, as like a powder, uh, you could also uh, do it on your water, uh, for helping purify water, but ever since Ray Mears, and uh, lighting a fire down in Australia, I've wanted to find it. Well, these, I'll give you a closer picture later, but they're called rapid fire capsules. And it's a, uh, a three-part system, actually. It's from Smoky Mountain R&D. There's a little bottle that they keep separate. And there's a good reason for that, because we have an almost instant exothermic reaction when you mix these two together. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. They have little capsules, uh, kind of like pill capsules to keep the, um, like if you're making your own vitamins or something, to keep the powder permanganate in there. I'm going to put this in a different pocket. And then they uh, supply you with the same amount of uh, wax covered twine. So I'm going to get this twine pulled apart and we'll be back. Alright, got a little baseboard down there. You know, I did that video without uh, about building a fire without any metal tools, any knives and stuff. And this juniper, it's a little bit punky, but like I was saying, it almost shreds. I mean, you can almost just peel it without using any tools. You can break some of the fibers down. Uh, you'll probably hear some gunfire in the background. It is Thanksgiving weekend. I'm out on BLM land, and I got to share the land with other folks. And. Uh, so I'm sure there's a few uncles and whatnot taking their son-in-laws and brother-in-laws and friends and family out for a good little shoot. But uh, got my little nest here. I just want to get a little fire around it. I like to build up the walls here. They got enough little ones, I should be able to put that on there, but this will be a fun little test. And a big pile. 
and I don't think you could probably reuse those. I think this glycerin is a little thick. There it goes. It's pretty neat. Another tool in your toolbox uh, for starting a fire. All right, first time was a fail. Uh, it lights up so quick, and honestly, that uh, first time I've used actually wax impregnated uh, twine like that. You can see there's a couple sticks that are still slightly smoking, but we're going to give another one a shot and see how well this works. It's not like a match or a ferrule where you can instantly uh, give it another go, but what I'm going to try to do is have more of the fire built uh, ready. It really almost is like kind of a flash fire. And uh, if it doesn't catch anything on that first flash, you're kind of out of luck. It's like the uh, magnesium. Like I said, this is thick from the cold, so I'm just kind of putting one big old drop on there and letting it do its thing. And we'll see if we can get it to flare up here in a second. Kind of build the fire around it. There it goes. And it's an interesting concept. I don't know that I like it, <laughs> but uh, like I said, it's a different tool in your toolbox for getting some stuff going. This juniper seems fairly dry. I'm not sure why it's not really catching. I got a slight breeze today, so shouldn't have uh, too much trouble getting it into flame. Also, I have some dung for uh, extending the fire out here in BLM land. It's pretty easy to find. Well, I cut away there just because I had to do a lot of blowing on this thing. It was pretty finicky. Now, I imagine some of you could say that uh, the wood is a little damp. But uh, you can see you got a little fire in the back, just smoldering a little bit. But I got a, a nice light breeze, so I don't have to blow on it right now. But if the wind stops, then I kind of blow on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun little thing. I did test out the empty, empty capsule, and uh, it does start to dissolve in your hand a little bit there. So you wouldn't want to get it wet for sure. Uh, I think it's more of kind of a, a just a fun little way to do it, maybe a backup. Had it sealed really well, but again, you got to keep both the uh, the pill and the glycol separate because you don't want them to mix accidentally in your pack and uh, burst into flames. But uh, it's a neat little way to do it. The nothing fancy, he likes his uh, knee pads, and uh, I just put my gloves down, put my knees on there. I actually do the same thing. I put my gloves down, and if I need some place to sit. Uh, put my hands in my pockets if it's really that bad but uh, that's my little trick also got a few emails we're just after one year of the Maxpedition Kodiak so I will be doing a uh, one year wrap up on that guy and uh, got lots of pictures I gotta find over the last year it has pretty much been by my side uh, for just over a year uh, I don't think there's hardly a day that goes that I don't have it with me